What's good, what's good, what's good, man? You're back with your boy B in there, Charlie, man. We're going to talk about it, man. Uncle Snoop, man. You did hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, man. And don't forget, man, to go down to my description, man. We need y'all to donate to the cash shop, you know what I'm saying? And remember, cash tag billionaire Charlie, man. Don't forget to put your donation in. Always support our family, man. We're doing great things on this YouTube thing, you know what I mean? Let's get into it, man. Snoop Dogg, man. Long Beach. They saying they don't love him in Long Beach no more, man. You know what I'm saying? A couple of OGs had to speak on Snoop Dogg not supporting the city and not giving back to the youth. You know what I'm saying? Not helping them in their situations that they in. You know what I mean? The OGs spoke their peace on it. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I was one of them people that always feel like this, man. A lot of times when you come out of those situations, man, you don't want to be caught in them situations because we've seen what happened in Nipsey Hustle. I mean, being in the hood too much ain't good for some people because you always have somebody that disagree with what you're saying or what you're doing. It may feel like it's time for you. It's your time to go. And I think that's what Snoop kind of was on. They was trying to say Snoop ain't no real game banger. He's just a commercial artist. You know what I mean? A commercial game banger or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I seen uh, your boy and Vlad say a couple of things about him too. I forget his name right now, man. It's going to come to me. But uh, the dude that was with uh, Easy e and whatever, he was sneaking on Snoop. All the time saying Snoop on about that life. You know what I'm saying? They said they was spitting on Snoop when he was doing that, when he did that interview. You know what I'm saying? With uh, uh, Angie Martinez in New York. We was talking about he was cool with Diddy and all them niggas. And Death Row wasn't fucking with them niggas. And, and they said they was spitting on, on Snoop ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. So there's a lot that's going on with the Snoop, with Snoop with the Long Beach thing. You know what I'm saying? He just said the guys don't respect them. Like they should because they don't feel like he give back to the city. He don't come to the cookout. He don't show love to the homies. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, and I, and I feel like with the, with the OG was saying niggas uh, play that groupie role where they say shit behind his back. And when he around, be on some groupie type of shit just to get some shine. Get on a little, uh, little label deal and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But a couple of gangbangers trying to say Snoop shouldn't be throwing up, them, throwing up the set no more, man. Because if you ain't in the city... You know what I'm saying? Really living that life or really giving that to the people. You can't throw it to set no more. So they was really cheap checking Snoop in a, in, a, in a violating way. You know what I'm saying? They just saying like, how you playing with this? When, when, you know what I mean? When you ain't really about it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people respected Nip because Nip was in touch with the people in the 60s. He was there, flesh and blood. Built the whole fucking uh, con, uh, whole goddamn shopping center putting his homies on with jobs and shit like that look niggas in, niggas from 60s was rapping with him and everything you know what i'm saying that's what nip did and they was thinking snoop did the same shit but i just think he don't get the credit for the shit that he did you know what i'm saying he, I, I seen a lot of crip homies that was with snoop rapping and shit like that but i guess niggas was like saying that it, it, it wasn't all official you know what i mean so I don't know, man. I, I got mixed feelings about it. You know what I'm saying? I know they say even the football program wasn't for the Long Beach homies and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, bro, was, well, the OG was really speaking his heart on on the thing, just saying how he felt about the whole situation and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like I, I just say this, bro. I just say this. You know what I'm saying? Snoop can do whatever the hell he want to do. You know what I'm saying? He a man. Everybody a man. You know what I'm saying? I think the big homie got mad because they said he was begging for money or some shit. He was like, nah, I got my own money, I do my own thing. But it, they, they kind of felt like he was begging for money and, and was on some bum nigga shit. But the OG had to, had to check everybody in the conversation and be like, homie, I ain't got to beg for shit. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what the homie did. You know what I'm saying? He let the people know that he ain't got to beg for nothing. He got his own shit and he doing his own ways. And I, I respect him for, let, for not even going too gangster with it and just coming on the platform and being able to speak his piece without being in a negative tone. That, that showed a real OG, a real G, a real gangster, because he was able to say, man, I ain't got a bag of nigga for nothing. We just wanted exposure for the for the uh, store, the restaurant and shit, just for the homies to be able to keep their shit on, keep the lights turned on, you know what I mean? They was looking for Snoop to throw their alley hoop for him. And then they said Snoop got real greasy on the phone, you know what I'm saying, talking real poppy poppy to a nigga, you know what I'm saying, and niggas won't feel in that shit. And I feel like, uh, I guess a lot of people feel like Snoop kind of abandoned his, the homies, you know what I'm saying, in Long Beach and shit like that. And feel like he, he could do a lot more better for the city, you know what I mean? 
Every nigga ain't gonna hold Snoop to that. They gonna be like, Snoop did his thing. He represent us. He show love. He don't gotta be here 24 seven all the time. You know what I'm saying? That nigga got a whole family, whole situation going on, businesses and shit like that. I always felt like Snoop was a LA nigga to the to the death of him. From 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 Kobe Bryant, Love, the Nipsey Hustle. He had some of all the LA niggas on his on his show. You know what I mean? From from YG to fucking uh, Nipsey Hustle, like underground rap niggas all over LA, Mexican rap, all that, that nigga Snoop had everybody on that GGN. Now, like I say, I, everybody got their own opinion, but I seen some of everybody on the GGN. Is on is online, nigga. That nigga had some of everybody from LA on that shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, everybody got a different view of shit, different way where they, they look at things. But I, I just feel like Snoop gave a lot back. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, what we what I look at may not be good enough for the other homies. You know what I'm saying? I guess a lot of people feel like there's a lot of rap niggas that's in Long Beach that ain't getting opportunities because Snoop ain't really putting the studio out there like the Jet uh, Jam after J's and shit like that. Or doing it like the nip. You know what I'm saying? Being in the hood, getting niggas love. But see, Snoop, I feel like Snoop always knew what was the real when you go into the hood, like especially a big name like him. You know what I'm saying? Then niggas gonna niggas gonna try to extort or try to get him. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what niggas were saying though. Niggas were saying niggas was trying to extort Snoop. And they were saying before before the, when he was with Death Row, he ain't had no bread like that. Then he went to Master P. That's when he started getting that money, that real money when he was fucking with Master P. See, Master P made sure niggas eat. Now, I don't know what the fuck Shug was doing with that money, you know what I'm saying? They said everything was in Shug name. Every car, all the houses, <laughs> they said they had this shit all in Shug name. You know what I'm saying? Shug had a master uh, approach on business. And, and, and that's why I can't believe he's, he's broke, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure that out. If you had all these millions of dollars and shit, how the fuck all that money going like that? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you had real estate and shit like that. I don't get that. But yeah, homie, the the OG came out and spoke out on the situation and just let the people know that on some real nigga shit, he won't bet. He ain't got a better nigga for shit. He was doing that for the homies that was in the hood that feel like Snoop just forgot about niggas. You know what I'm saying? Two of the homies let the people know that they ain't really feeling Snoop doing the game banging thing because he ain't, people, people in Long Beach ain't fucking with that shit no more. They feel like he ain't giving back, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, only real Long Beach niggas can speak on that shit. You dig? I'm out being there, child. I love y'all. Encryption that's been going on for years, that's still going on. What's your thoughts but, uh, on the pipeline? Yeah, like I say, man, I was... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, what's your thoughts on the pop smoke situation? Now that, like I say, I've been, I've been asking what's around, you know, but... I don't think it was no Cali, no, no, no Cali, New York type shit. He just, that's these niggas flashing that cash on Instagram and had the wrong niggas around them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Those are the type niggas that you want to, those are the type niggas that, that, uh, that these niggas be having. Cause that goes back to say that once you get rich, you stop messing with niggas that you've been knowing all your life. And you get these new industry homies and shit. You don't know, you know, cause a lot of niggas will see a stack of money and think 10,000 is the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that ain't never had no money. That ain't never had no money. So with that situation, you know, rest in peace to uh, Pop Smoke and his family. You know what I'm saying? I hate that happen. I was just glad it wasn't no L.A., New York ass type bullshit. That was like some in-house shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, shout out to that dude and his family, man. But, uh, but man, it's a lot of work to do out here, man. You know, I mess with uh, Malik Spellman. I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's here. I'm glad you're here. Uh, like yeah, I say, I'm here to clear up anything. And first of all, I don't give a fuck about what they talk about with Snoop. I'm here to clear my motherfucking name. Nigga, I'm not no sucker. I ain't no poor ass nigga waiting on that nigga. I had money before that nigga. That nigga was with Death Row, didn't have a quota. Ain't that a bitch? Right. But yeah, this been flossing, man. Anything right. you need to know, you can ask me. Right, yeah, that, 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 that is true. That is true. That is true. The nigga ain't broke. He got his own money. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna say it, big, big, big floss, big floss. That you made that I was pressing, and we was pressing the nigga, it was deeper than what you talking about with the VIP and all of that. If you really knew what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Big floss. That shit came about because of me. Big floss. I spoke up for the whole hood. I spoke up, I spoke up for 20 days and stuff. Big, big. The whole, everybody want to be a rapper. I ain't never wanted to be a rapper. And I've been around that shit. I've been who I am. 
Big Flossy. I don't even like rap. Big Big Flossy. I don't even like rap. Big Floss. Big Floss. Peace, King. I want to yeah. say I want to say this because this this. This is this is gonna be good, but I want to say this right now. I know you hate to claim your um um clear your name and, and speak speak your truth, but I want to say this between both of y'all. You know, I I please I hope this don't go beyond this conversation. And I hope this conversation can lead oh, no, to a no, better hey, resolution. Well, you know what I'm saying? I got too much shit to go. I got too much shit going on. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what I'm talking Nobody about. Nobody that don't know me could could speak that, but anybody that know me that's from Long Beach that really know that what I'll be doing out there. Yeah, check my files. All y'all do follow my page. Right, cause I, 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 don't, want, I, don't, want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. But as far no as destroying somebody, nigga, if I was gonna destroy Snoop, nigga, I'd have went, I'd have went after Suge, nigga. That's who got the money. Fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy the nigga. Talk about investing in the hood. It's way more to it. You know what I'm saying? Than what everybody see and know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me and Snoop, even just that, we we may not talk on this or that. We ain't got no problems to be. That's my little thing. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I, got, I also got a whole bunch of other homies from Long Beach, nigga, that got done bad during that whole era. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's funny that niggas been around since 25 years and niggas don't got a new car, a pot to piss in, a place to stay. Yeah, Come on, man. So, it's, 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 so you know, I, it's, that's right up my alley. And, I, and ain't no cutthroat with mine. I sit down and talk with anybody. <laughs> so, Big Flossy, so, um, so, what... Um, what was the thing that, um, you know, that led you to basically come at Snoop the way you did? What, what led up to that? And if okay, you, if this you would want to this, explain this, that. This would, happen, this would happen that led up to all of this. My homeboy, okay, the VIP was going down. Everybody was talking to him. Just so happened, one, we, had a, we had a soul food restaurant in the hood called Kenneth. The homie Kenneth had a, a soul food restaurant. So he had Nate Dog brother working for him and shit. So this whole week, Snoop is sending Texas, you know, and the homie just like, man, you know, we ain't asking you to invest in nothing, you know, just help us out, you know, give a shout out. He wouldn't, nigga didn't start posting other homies and nigga shit on his Instagram till I got on it. So we telling him, man, the homie, we got a business in the hood, we trying to get our shit, you know, show us support, support. This nigga caught texting back and talking all crazy like niggas is peasants and shit. Nigga, don't nobody want nothing from you, nigga, we already had all shit. Just give us some publicity and shit. Right. So all these people talking about, oh, niggas distorted. How the fuck we gonna distort this nigga to just really start getting somebody? <laughs> nigga, we've been getting drug money for years. Nigga, Long Beach ain't no post city, nigga. A lot of us, I'd have been in prison five times for fucking selling coke. Fuck, I talk about some rap money. Nigga, distorted, nigga, ain't that a bitch? But my thing is, okay, so now, the whole week, he's just shitting on everybody, pissing on everybody. So the homies, nigga, I didn't run to the homies to get uh, more back in, nigga. I got enough power in Long Beach, my goddamn self. But my homie, August Dog, my big homie pastor, he said, yeah, man, we need to press this nigga because there's some, it's some other issues that the niggas was trying to get at that nigga about. Mm. <laughs> so when niggas passed on him, that's how it came out. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be Trent on there too and Catman. We was all supposed to be on the damn thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the shit he did for Catman was crumbs, was disrespectful, embarrassing. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so all that, what we was trying to do, that shit was fake. Well, no, it wasn't, wasn't nothing fake about it, but his part. Nigga, that was real. Nigga, I was going to put my life and my, my life of me on the line for a whole city for some clown shit. Nigga, that was for real. And it still stands today. Nigga, don't give a... Nigga, and, you, and, and your guest even said, nigga, he ain't really about that life, but nigga, nigga didn't die and been to the pen. Nigga, they're still going to the pen and dying behind this shit. Your family, you done raised a family... Been around the world, <laughs> nigga, and you disrespect them. Like we peasants. That means you know what I'm saying? He played homies against homies. Mm. <laughs> that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy, my nigga. But, but like I say, as far as Big Flossy, nigga, ain't no cuts on me. Check my resume. Pull. <laughs> Mashing the nigga for some money, well, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go after a big motherfucker before I go after a small nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and like I say, a lot, of, a lot of that shit had to do with 20 business that uh, don't really need to be talked about about outsiders. You know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be kept in-house, you know? But I did that, nigga. I wasn't just speaking for the 20. I was speaking for all the niggas from Long Beach that, that, that wanted to rap. I'm going to get back on. Hold on. 
All right, it's reconnecting now. I just want to make sure everything is good. Stick to the point. Right. If, if, if it's six, man, he had a short time with, yeah, maybe it was six. I don't know. I would be better no. But from we got to find the point where he's free. From the baton, he has no security. He goes into just doing the football thing. He goes into really staying away from the hood. When when the Long Beach Insane Crips was no longer his security, he was not fucking with the hood at all. He went and lived his life. We didn't have to see him. He wasn't making videos. The East Siders then fell apart. He owed money to to uh, I can, I can tell you all about why trade each. So you know, I was just going to get into that. So you let's yeah. go right so, into so, that when you could. So so so, so with, with 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 that happening. Uh, he just went straight commercial, living his life, not coming to the hood. Now, what's going to happen is Big Catman going to come home, 2016. I'll never forget because he came up to where I was doing security to get put on. You know, he didn't know I was working there, but he came up there to get put on, and I ain't seen him in years. So when when Catman come home, Snoop, he's 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 gunning for Snoop. This dude been in jail almost 20 years, no money, no establishment, and he is a shot caller to the Rolling Twenty Crips. By the time he went into prison, he didn't even know Snoop. By the time he went into prison, you got to say, 20 years from 2016, he was in jail way before Snoop even became famous. He's going to come see Snoop. So when he came out and, he, and Snoop met him, hooked him up, gave him money, gave him a G-ride, just hooked him up totally. Now Snoop is in the atmosphere of having to deal with the Crips again. You feel me? Because here it is, Catman is taking homies to his house or trying to have Snoop come down and they having meetings with Snoop. You see what I'm saying? So what happened was that little bit was going on in 2016. Flossie has been one to eat. I'm not a fan of Flossie. I met him. I know him. I don't like Flossie. Just keep it real. So because he influenced the youth the wrong way. I don't like anybody that, that, that influenced the youth going down the wrong path. Because I done came up out that life. My job is to look back to my hood and try to tell you yesterday there's a better way. So here it is. Here it is, uh, Floss, Flossie been one to eat off this dude. Flossie had access to getting at him, phone numbers, you know, Warren G, before Nate Dogg, rest in peace. Flossie had access to say, hey, man, pass Snoop this message. I think Snoop should be doing this. I think Snoop should be doing that. Snoop, Snoop don't got to listen to nobody. He a, he a millionaire living in a, a, a gated community. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, it went on and went on where, Cup, where, where Catman is having access to him. And now Flossie won a piece of the pie. It's all about money. It's all about trying to get something out of somebody, leeching on to somebody. It's not about what, what can Snoop do at 40 something years old, 40, I don't know how old he is. What can he do? He can't contribute money to us for we can get uh, drugs. He can't, he can't give us. When Cup caught that, when Cup caught that big ass case in 2000, you, Snoop pulled away. This is where he comes in with getting the security from insane. So here it is, you got Swoop, you got Cup, and you got the whole 20 Crip just surrounding this nigga. Hey, you know, hey, this is the homie, this is the homie. He coming through, the homies making him come through, something like that. So when so so when Cup get arrested from 2000, to, from 2000 all the way to 2016, he don't have no pressure of no one telling him, hey, cuz, you got to come through. Hey, you got to look out for the homies. You got to toss me this, you got to toss me that. He doesn't have that. So that's where he breaks away from the hood a little bit more because all them dudes was just in his pocket. So then when now I'm coming up to Flossie. When 2016 came, Big Big Catman came home. So when Big Catman came home, a uh, 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 image and a personality just like Cup, Snoop was going to have to meet Catman. Snoop was going to have to meet this man in 2016. This is a real OG. You get what I'm saying? So so when he came home. When he came home, he met, he met, and what, what happened, okay, slow down. When, when Cup went to jail, that's when he embraced the homies from Insane to be a security. My homie Mooch, my homie Papa, Big Papa, my homie Lil Nut, and Dirty Red. And you got to remember, when I mention those names, a bunch of those dudes from Insane got a whole bunch of little other homies. So really now, as Snoop is pushing his, his program through the hood from 2000 to 2016, you feel me? He got, no, from 2000 to the time he got arrested at the airport with that baton. From 2000, you have to look it up. He got arrested at the airport for this baton and he claimed it to be a prop. So when he got arrested for the prop, what did they tell him? That 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 uh, police baton at the airport. You got to stay away from um, um, gang, gang members. members. 
you couldn't have no more gang members. So when when that happened, y'all got to pull up the dates. I'm not too familiar with it, but I'm going to give you what brought the transition up to Flossie getting on Snoop's head. So from 2000 up until the time, if someone can look it up, when did Snoop get arrested at the airport with the baton? Somebody so look from, that up. I'll, I'll say the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up. Please look it up. So from the time Cup went in jail, if you look up Reese Cup on the on the song called G'd Up from it's the East Side. It's not funny. Reese Cup. Boy, yeah. I got some names, bro. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's Big Cup and it's a little cup. Yeah. And it's a, it's a baby am, cup. I don't want no, no beef. Yeah, yeah, Reese yeah. Reese Cups. Yeah, well, I'm glad I'm glad I got out of that life and I didn't bring no little ridges and all that type shit. But anyway, if you look that up, when Cup was pressuring this dude, coming up his house, getting money, getting everything he wanted, making sure making sure Snoop came to the hood, <coughs> making sure Snoop accepted the homies and them coming up there. Because it was a time when Snoop was was uh in the game early and you would have a demo, but little homies, the reason why we don't have no talent. And you see the Long Beach movement come out at the same time he's getting pressured. The reason why you don't have no homies that, that come up from the hood, like Master P put people on, uh, uh, Puffy Combs put people on. So when he was when he was younger, he, people would go up there to Priority Records, Interscope, whatever. You know, you didn't have emails and shit. You had to go up there and take your demos. Well, they would call Snoop. They, they would go up there and say, hey, man, I'm part of Warren G. I'm part of Nate Dog. You feel me? But then when they when when they give Snoop the word, Snoop be like, nah, can no one get put on? So when he was working with Nate Dogg and Warren G, especially, they be in the hood. When he was working with Nate Dogg and Warren G, people would go up there to Priority and the scope say, man, I'm Nate Dogg, homie. I'm Warren G, G, homie. They still couldn't get on without Snoop approval. So I'm just trying to tell you, I know I'm all over the place. There's a lot of reasons why people don't like Snoop because he held us down. There's a lot of people that had talent all through the 90s, 90s besides the East Siders, besides the Twins, besides the Dove Shack, besides the uh, uh, C-Style and Little C-Style. You feel me? But going back to the Baton situation. The Baton was in September 20, uh, 2016. Somebody put 19, but I think I'll go with 16 because it was some time back. Man, Mike, let me tell y'all. My homies Mooch, Dirty Red, Little Nut, and Big Papa. Real niggas, man, that had his back. So he wouldn't have to worry about nothing. When he was going through that shit with 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 uh with with Death Row Shug, when he was going through that shit with Snug, Shug and Shug was throwing all these threats when he got out of prison, he didn't have nothing to worry about with them dudes, trust me. I'm talking about just well built, well skilled. Because Snoop, cause Snoop was really scared though. That's a lot of things that people Oh, he was don't, 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 don't know try to glorify, I'm um, not glorify, but really put it out there. But Snoop, he, he, he really he was, was scared. He, he was petrified. Let me just tell you this: when that when that shit was going on, we should we were kind of like, okay, when these niggas want to hit a block, when these niggas like, you know, he was supposed to send people to the hood, should. But we was like, when when somebody some some off brand finna come from Compton, some Bloods, and, and try to serve us over Snoop, but Snoop was really scared. But one thing was sure, Snoop had some real security between 2000 from the time Cup went to jail. If y'all ever looked that up, that that when you see the video, you see the connection with Cup, if you learn it, no one was going to fuck with Snoop while Snoop had Cup. Nobody, nobody would dare from Insane or 20s fuck with Snoop while Cup was here. It wasn't going to happen. It's a very dangerous situation. Uh, uh, he was uh, he raised a whole bunch of killers in that life, man. You got fakes and then you got in every hood, you got fake and you got real. You got fake and you got real, man. And uh, so let's say 2016, he gets that. He has to let go of those security guards. Me and Mooch, me and Mooch in prison together. So I'm just saying, me and Mooch, Big Mooch, that's my homie. That's, that's my homie. But when he had to let go, when he had to let go of that security, now he's free. Let's just go on with 2016, Mike. You said 2016, right? No, it said um, 2006. 2006. Yeah. Some Somebody wow. looked at that damn baton um, incident up. And well, please, I, I, everybody that's new, hit that like button if you, if you, if everybody hit the I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad he's here. I'm glad you're here. Uh, like yeah, I say, like, I'm here to clear up anything. And first of all, I don't give a fuck about what they talk about with Snoop. I'm here to clear my motherfucking name. Nigga, I'm not no sucker. I ain't no poor ass nigga waiting on that nigga. I had money before that nigga. That nigga was with Death Row, didn't have a quota. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. But yeah, this been flossy, man. Anything you need to know, you can ask me. I see. That is true. That is true. That is true. The nigga ain't broke. He got his own money. 
Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I want to say, big, 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 big floss, big floss. I you, baby, that I was pressing, and we was pressing the nigga. It was deeper than what you talking about with the VIP and all of that. If you really knew what was going on, you did what I'm saying? Big floss. That shit came about because of me. Big floss. I spoke up for the whole hood. I spoke up. I spoke up for twenty days and everything. Big big. The whole everybody want to be a rapper. I ain't never wanted to be a rapper, and I've been around that shit. I've been who I am. Big flossy. I don't even like rap. Big big flossy. I don't even like rap. Big floss. Big floss. Peace, King. I want to yeah. say. I want to say this because this this. This is this is gonna be good, but I want to say this right now. I know you here to claim your um um clear your name and, and speak speak your truth, but I want to say this between both of y'all. You know, I I please I hope this don't go beyond this conversation. And I hope this conversation can lead oh, no, to a no, better hey, resolution. Man, you know what I'm saying? I got too much shit to go. I got too much shit going on. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what I'm talking about. Nobody that don't know me could could speak that, but anybody that know me that's from Long Beach that really know that what I be doing out there. Yeah, check my files. All y'all do follow my page. Right, because I, I, <laughs> you know I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. But as far no as destroying somebody, nigga, if I was gonna destroy Snoop, nigga, I'd have went, I'd have went after Suge, nigga. That's who got the money. Fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy the nigga. Talk about investing in the hood. It's way more to it. You know what I'm saying? Than what everybody see and know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me and Snoop, even just that, we we may not talk about this or that. We ain't got no problems with beef. That's my little nigga. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I, got, I also got a whole bunch of other homies from Long Beach, nigga, that got done bad during that whole era. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's funny that niggas been around since 25 years and niggas don't got...